Hey guys, Xbox here, and this is just going to be a product unboxing for the Turnergy 168 1/8 scale brushless ESC. Also, I went ahead and basically, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to give you the review on the Turnergy 2100 kV 1/8 scale brushless motor while I'm at it. Now, the reason why I got this is because I I ha also have a Summit, of course, and I wanted to upgrade the Summit, of course, and I didn't want to spend four hundred dollars and getting a you know a whole Mamba Pro system put in there. So I seen a lot of people have good turnouts with this system here. This ESC I think was forty bucks. This was like twenty bucks. So like sixty bucks for both of these. And a couple buddies of mine, man, their cars absolutely fly. And I had another buddy of course who had the you know the whole the whole Mamba monster uh, and compared it against one of these and both the cars took off same battery same everything I couldn't tell the difference. So <clears throat> both of those guys have been running their cars, of course, for you know 30, 40 packs, running great. So I decided to do these and switch it on my Summit to see how they go. So again, this is just going to be a product review slash unboxing. Let's do it. Let's take this, take a look here. Again, I got all these on HobbyKing.com, and again, you know, pretty cheap. You can see here's some of the specs on the back. I don't know if you guys can see those. I'll I'll probably just zoom in here so you guys can see those. Um, you know, this thing can handle three to five cells, uh, 120, you know, 120 amp continuous with 160 peak uh, volt. This thing is ridiculous uh, on my other buddy's summit. So let's take it out. <clears throat> you can see here, this thing is actually built, oh, actually built very, very well here. Hopefully I get this in the, there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that here. Maybe I'll move it here. Built very well. Uh, this thing actually, whoa. <laughs> this thing fits, um, you know, right on most stock cars. Got the little, the little clip right here, so you can put the little on-off switch. Got the nice uh, holders down here. The one thing I did notice is, uh, for example, check this out. So I have my, you know, Mamba Monster motor here, and this has the, uh, I think, the 10 gauge connectors on there. And you can see they just, they're just too big for it. So if you guys plan on getting one of these as a replacement for uh, a castle creation system, make sure your motor is going to fit first. And that's the only thing I really noticed about this was the um, the holes were for a smaller gauge uh, wire here, not for the normal gauge, you know, stuff that you, t you typically see. But it's built very well. Uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, connectors are all ready to rock and roll. You also get in the box here. Oh, my lighting is very bad, guys. Sorry about that. Of course, you get pre tin uh, you know, power connectors drop right in. Very easy. And so, again, this thing looks absolutely great. Fan, motor, feels heavy duty. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine never had a problem with theirs, and they've run a lot of packs, so I'm gonna definitely put it in my Summit and just go bash it around. Next thing, of course, I wanna show is the uh, 2100 kV motor. The thing, the, the thing that's great about this is, uh, let me pull this out of here, is the uh, connectors here just dump right in. So they're not the 10 gauge wire, but they do fit. One of the things I noticed though when spinning, you know, just spinning the motor here is it doesn't feel as uh, coggy as the uh, Mamba Monster. But my buddies who run this one, I mean, their cars just flat out fly. Um, and it's a great savings. Again, both of these together were about 75 bucks, 60 bucks. And um, that's a great comparison to, you know, the $300, $400 system there. So you could technically buy like five of these for that. So. I have a couple more motors coming that I'm going to try, but I just wanted to do an unboxing video so you guys can sort of see what you get and what you should expect. But um, yeah, I'll do a full review later, but wanted to show you guys what these are when you unbox. So definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thanks again.